The impact of post-internet art might be way broader than the artistic and cultural sphere, because post-internet art developed in a post-internet or post-medium society, and the changes and impacts of this would probably reach a global human scale. But let's talk art. After post-internet, the question arises if there are any other mediums left. We know by now that artificial intelligence is being used to create artworks. There are many examples. Jane Kogan is an artist and programmer whose main focus is how generative systems, computer science, and softwares can be used creatively for self-expression. He trains neural networks on images, audio, and text so to create outputs that are his artworks. To see examples of his works, please refer to our Instagram scanning the QR code. But Kogan is not alone. The use of artificial intelligence in the art is growing exponentially. What does this mean then? Artificial intelligence can be referred to as a medium, but the merge of consciousness, such as the ability to learn, and the passivity of a tool blurs the line between the creator and the creation. Is this the future? Is cyberpunk dystopia closer than we think, or maybe the utopian future of equality brought by the equal access to endless information is the other alternative? To conclude, post-internet art reached the realization of the limitation of the medium of time and space, connecting the network consciousness to the individual reality, and is looking for the next level. Because post-internet does not refer to a time after the internet, but rather about the internet, the relationship between the everyday new technologies and the way human nature deals with it and adapts to or influences it is where we might find the answer to our questions.